And welcome back to Throwback Thursday's episode of Farming Simulator 20 here on Blue Lake Valley. Um, we started up here in field 13, moved over to 12 and 11. Uh, 13 was our first day to the journey of the end. 12 and 11 was the second day-ish of the journey to the end. Uh, most of Field 5 was part of that too. Uh, as you can see, I still have equipment out, like in 12, 5, 11. I'm going to get that all situate, re situated because uh, we have our own fields 3 and 10 that came up to harvest but that's in the first stage but right after field 5 we need to get down to 8 and 9 so I'm going to continue with the uh, getting workers going on especially the cultivator getting that going field 11 what may be over there over to field 5 and getting field 5 finished harvested where's there it is all right buddy you can you continue we'll see you in a minute um well longer than that This is at our place. Well, that's not the steering wheel, that is. Get this over here. And a good spot to park you be right there. Wrong button to get out. see which of these fields are canola Ooh. Mm -hmm. field nine is canola so we have to get the harvester over there after it gets done in field five like double time at least this one because we got this one here that i believe is yep totally empty so Yeah, this is out here by the horse paddock. Uh, where? Uh, hold on. We're there. We need to come down to. Oh, that direction. Nice. There's a. Okay, cool. There's a road going out here. There. Whoops, um, yeah, you know what, we're in a harvester, let's go. Down the hill. Okay, off, whoops, wrong button, hold on. Yep, cool. I'll get the equipment moved over to a uh, field. Got blazes. Number eight. We need to get to field eight. Okay. I'll get the equipment moved to field eight. And I'll see you in a minute. I have the harvester over in the field 8, I believe it was. And the tractor I went back for, I forgot I had the loading wagon on it, not the uh, grain trailer. Is 
full. Alrighty. Well, I get to take this harvester over to field 9. Get it going. Take this grain to the silo. Bring it back down to these two fields here, 8 and 9. And we's going to have some fun. Oh, that hay sale, or straw sale, whatever it was. We have uh, received little over literally little over twenty one hundred dollars so dollars pounds yeah dollars so let's make our way over to that field there which I believe is another canola field We are going to start this one. Going this direction. Going down. Yep. Yeah, we can get this down here while we have panned to it or tabbed. To get set up to be taking the straws, the straw swaths. And back when I was, did uh, earlier in the video, I said the two other, the two previous fields were day two ish. Yeah, because it wound up being. Uh, It wound up being more like, uh, like three days, you know, well, those, uh, be the second and third day is what I was trying to spit out, but, so this might either be day three, four, five, I don't know, I lost count, but the first one can easily be said episode one of the journey to the end. The second one is episode two of the journey to the end. And this one is episode three of the journey to the end. And as a worker comes available, because you're even in this one you're only allowed three workers and I have them all secured right now two harvesters and a cultivator so yeah I'm gonna be running around like a mad chicken yay there's a sign for Ravenport guess what I was speaking of Ravenport yeah um, a couple Saturdays ago, even as you guys see, ooh, are you full? No? Well, you're going to be the fullest one. Let's get that little shoe box out my way. Um, oh yeah, Ravenport. Uh, for those of you that caught my very first episode on my brand new PC. Um, I deeply thank you. Um, if you gave it a like, thank you. Um, I was I was totally stoked. I had you know got myself a computer, you know new toy jitters. But anyways, I had recorded a. I'm I sure I'm sure I said this one already. But I have re 
I've had recorded in episode 2 but something with the recording software made it wonky so I had to record a new second episode and that one wound up looking a lot better and whatever I did to fix the wonkiness I have no clue okay let's park you here oh you're not okay you're good still <coughs> so anyways I have recorded a new episode and whoops uh, apparently I don't know the buttons to uh, push there and my new episode 2 of Ravenport on PC is actually still on the PC well of course yeah duh but um, it's been sat there for at least a good week week and a half it still needs to be edited and posted so my deepest apologies for those waiting on that episode um, And this episode of Throwback Thursday will be, um, if, I'm, if I have not fallen asleep from being overtired, this will be posted at noon on Thursday, um, if you're not already watching it. Um, but that episode 2 of Ravenport would be... Uh, this following Saturday you know two days away and I'm actually recording this on a Wednesday what time is it oh yeah very late it's like almost it's almost 10 after 1 in the morning on a Thursday morning so I'm going to park this over here instead of just aimlessly driving around like I usually do. But, um, but yes, as far as the date, I have no clue what it is. But you'll see this video, and two days later, you'll see Ravenport Episode 2. Um,. Yeah, sorry. I'm not going to uh, give any spoilers, but uh, I think I've also, there, there isn't, all I'll say is there is an explanation in that video. So, yeah, I was recording it. Okay, this is the only spoiler I'm giving you. I was recording it before I had to go into work that same day. And I actually had to just stop. I didn't exit out of the game because I was in the, in the middle of a contract. I didn't want to stop it. So. <coughs> Excuse me. I just turned the monitor off, went into work came back home finished it up so that's the only spoiler you got but anyhow yeah uh, be looking forward to that uh, like I said it's coming up in two days because I think I quickly found, uh, after I posted the first episode of it, 
I found, you know, what day, you know, hey, let's do it on Saturday, you know. I'll just post it up at a different time than uh, Neubrunn, so. Well, that harvester is working away. This one's working away. And I'm going to lose my way if I don't get my camera back. And I'm pretty sure that John Deere Harvester is already... Still not even half full. Okay. Okay, yeah, so we're going to... We're going to have a good couple minutes yet anyway. Whatever we're uh, harvesting here, I didn't look when I uh, panned to the yellow harvester here. I didn't even think to look at what uh, what it is. It's either wheat or barley, one of the two. But uh, I'm going to be quiet, and we got these two fields working currently, and these might actually be the uh, remainder of the episode I don't know we'll find out uh, we just got to remember that we have two fields left. field 10 and then field 3 at the yard there also done needing to be harvested so <coughs> uh, oh before I do this uh, time lapse um, <clears throat> uh, thank you for the uh, for the thank you for the best wishes of uh, feeling better soon um, it was actually quite it was like kind of quick because it was like the next day all all the soreness had left but yeah it was it was a it was still it was still a chore uh, yeah. <coughs> excuse me cuz now I I'm, I'm still I'm still doing the coffin thing but you know that's not bad anymore but it's more like the cough, like you're clearing your throat kind of thing. That's what is always getting me right now, at the moment. So uh, my throat is feeling better. Thank you for the best wishes. Um, but please forgive me. I'm going to be silent and throwing these two hornswogglers on a time lapse, and I'll see you at the end.
I wanted to try and do a, a cinematic as a farmer sim would do but this is but he does great cinematics on FS22 but we're here on FS20 so I had to do uh, the best I could do so I hope I haven't been in through the editing I just hope it turns out good and if you guys like that uh, please let me know in the comments and I don't know of course farmer sim plays on PC and obviously this is mobile so not really too much you can do on mobile except for gripe at all the glitching that happens uh, this is going to be taken back to the yard so it can start harvesting our field 3 and when I unload the John Deere it can go over to field 10 and unload that and before I do anything I am going to have to stop recording this segment and start a new okay we're back obviously a different camera angle um, fresh new recording so I'm gonna put a couple headlines on this side maybe down and back because of that building right there Ooh, cash crop. Okay, okay. So, yeah, soybeans. Turn this puppy around. get back to the other side I'll turn a worker loose and then you know what I think we have like three tractors and we could probably get away with getting a new cultivator so that way we can uh, work her going off. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That one's full of straw. So not only can we have this little guy going on fields. We can have the two other, you know, another worker going off. I wish it would stop that. It's irritating. But we can have another worker going, going across some fields and I can uh, grab a tractor, probably this one. So I can get a bigger, I still have that cultivator sitting over here by field 5 to sell and get a new one for. 
because apparently they has a seed tank that plants grass or whatever but yeah get myself going on a cultivator because believe it or not we are actually harvesting well ahead of the small uh, cultivator setup of course it doesn't help either that I have it actually sitting on a large field at the moment and this is almost unloaded and it can get turned loose into this big open field 10 right there and we'll have the work go off this way This can stay here for a time, and since this is full of canola, this can go back to the yard. That is the trailer unloaded. <clears throat> Good gravy. But uh, we'll continue having the fun in the next episode. Uh, John Deere's over here in field 10. New Holland's over here in field 3. And amazingly, having. Only three cows, apparently. We still have plenty of food. I'd imagine the same for the water. Couldn't tell you anything about the straw, but it still looks good. Gonna get out the buying trigger. How much manure did these guys produce? Hey, there we go starting to get a little bit shown right there it's not a big pile of dung but it's a little something but anyhow I'm gonna leave it here now yeah, let's do over here There we go. Anyways, in the next episode also that we'll be uh, getting over to uh, the sheep, the pigs, you know, we'll check on the animals. Um, we can sell what wool we have and uh, finish up field 3 here, field 10. And then we'll just, I guess, wait until more fields get harvested. And then what we can probably do to pass the time after we take care of the animals is do the... I'll go out and get another couple of cultivators, take the other one back. And then uh, we can get to cultivating to catch that up a little bit. So... Yeah, we're a uh, third episode of the journey to the end. And 
I don't know. It just depends on how many fields are ready to harvest as to how many we do per episode kind of thing. But they will be shrinking in size because field 13 and 10 are our biggest fields that we had to worry about. So, <coughs> yep, and pretty soon after they're cultivated, we're going to have cedars running through them. Actually, I have to go back and see because I'm pretty sure our planter and cedar, but I'd have to go back and see which one, if not both, if they are uh, direct drill or not. But um, I guess I can uh, find out if they are or not and... If they are cool, I just won't touch some fields. I'll just start planting them. Uh, but if one is not, I'll have to take the cultivator over a particular, you know, some fields to say, hey, okay, we can plant here now. So that's all in the next episode. Well, and or episodes. So um, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. You take care of yourselves. I'm out. Peace.